welcome back to Dozzy's Television Workshop, uh, where today on the bench um, I got a Lin Axis motor. Um, and as is their want, if they're left running in an axis that's got defective power supply capacitors, the output capacitors start to leak and they pass DC onto the windings, which inevitably leads to motor failure if left. Um, I know a lot of people, especially on my Lin Axis videos that I've done in previous previous times, um, people seem to think, oh, it's still working. I just have to give it a nudge. It'll be all right. Don't do it, folks, because this is what happens. Um, as you can see, this winding, it's all right. It's about 2.4K. This winding on this side has gone open. So that motor is now scrap. Um, the biggest problem is this motor is no longer available. So um, my mate Collins asked me to see if I can get it apart, see if we can fix it. So, um, well, what's the worst that can happen? So uh, let's just see, get a bit of a pry tool in there, see if we can get it apart and see if we can find out where the winding has gone open circuit. Oh, we should be having a bit of luck getting it apart anyway. So that's good news. A little more prying, I think. There you have it. Wow, okay. So we've got our... That's our rotor there. And this is just our coil assembly, is it? Does this pull out as one piece? I'm just going to gently spudge in there. I can imagine this coil assembly was just moulded up together and then pushed in as one piece. You can see it's all sort of coming away. Wow, it appears this whole metal assembly is coming with it. Might be okay. Plenty of holes and things we can sort of pry against to try and get it apart. There we go. Right, and that's just left our rotor assembly in there. Mm. Now, I wonder if the next thing to do is to try and separate that connector apart. So let's just put the soldering iron on. Try and desolder these leads out of there. One. Must be said somebody's had a bit of a hatchet job on the leads before. Not the most pleasant soldering in the land. And this one's all sort of bent up, but hey. I shift some of that excess solder.
Yeah, this appears to be like a double thing going on here. There we go. Try and straighten that up a bit. You can see these, uh, obviously the winding here on the bottom one is the two there and the top one is the other two, sort of centre tapped arrangement. Let me just remind myself of which was open circuit. I think it's these two left ones here. Nope. Yeah, it's the two to the left. Let me just mark that up. So it's the two on this side that are open. I think it's two windings with sort of a centre tap. That's how it, how it operates. Try and straighten these tags out. See if this connector will simply pull apart. I mean, if the coil's gone internally somewhere, I think at this point we've had it. But if it hasn't, I'm well and good. Sort of hoping it will have uh, broken at the connector itself. Sort of got them straightened out a bit. Let's see what happens. If we try and ease the plug away. It is moving. Oh, there we go. Okay, and it's these two. There's a wire on this side. Well, that looks to be connected. So it's where it goes into the middle is the problem. Can I just lift the top winding off? Oh, you can. Look at that. Can't actually see a wire to the bottom. Oh, it's going in through the base of this connector here. Mm. Let's just prove it's this coil. which it is. I'm just going to get some magnification in there because I can just see where the wires coming out of the the bottom the bottom just to that spade there and if I can sort of get in there and see it we might be within some chance if I can get at it. Right, I need a very small tool just to examine it under some magnification here. Would you believe it? That wire to the centre pin in here has snapped. Let me see if we can get anything like a decent shot of it. Oh, that's the wrong way. Right, so just on the edge of the motor there. That 
that wire has come adrift. Now, let's see if we can't solder it back on again. Oh, it's fiddly work. Not ideal for somebody with a tremor. I think I've got it. Right. Uh, Meters back on ohms. You can not quite see it. You can see it on that camera up there, look. So... We're looking for about two and a half K, was it? 2.4 K. I fixed it. <laughs> that is, oops. So this sort of toothed arrangement here, let's zoom out because you can't see a thing. There's this sort of toothed arrangement it sits over our bottom coil. Obviously, we need the top coil the other way up. Use the top there. Push the connector back together. Um, I took that apart next, didn't I? So that goes back in there. Oh, it's going to be tight. That's going to be super tight. Not quite. There we go. That one goes back on there. I think it was originally held up together with a piece, a bit of lacquer, but... Um, there we are. Right, very quick sanity check to make sure we've got uh, both windings connected. So that should measure there, which it does. That measures there, which it does. That should now be a working axis motor. Yeah, that's a bit of a result. Right, thank you very much for watching. Click like, subscribe, do all that rubbish, and I'll see you on the weekend here on Doz's Television Workshop. Cheers now. Bye.